Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Oh, she's going back and forth with the accent. <laughs> I don't. I never have accents. It's only because I'm with you. <laughs> I'm doing an accent. So what you're saying is I'm a bad influence. Mm, I want to say it's a bad thing. Isn't that I kind of like it? What bad influence? Bad influence. I feel like that's a podcast. No. Already. Um. What's I just listened to it this morning. Oh, Matt King and Aaron have yeah. good influence. Good influence. Bad? Yeah, maybe. I'm about to look this up. A hoot and a half is Matt. Yeah, but Matt. How many podcasts is Matt on? He's in like too many. <laughs> no, it's good influences. Oh, okay. It's Matt, Aaron, and Carly, and I forgot the guy's name. Mike? He looks like a Mike. I think he's Mike. I think his name is Mike. I think so. Enough. They're good. I listen to theirs. Um, also, funny enough, me and Sarah are together <laughs> for the next. Actually, would you believe it? All of the episodes in October. We're gonna be together if everything goes according to plan <laughs> don't jinx us they should be all in in person episodes which means that me and sarah are in the same place i keep on looking to see a screen to talk to you it's very <laughs> jarring to see him in person right now. it's so weird you know we're real people can you believe that we are not a parasocial relationship wait okay so i have this habit of using like big words that i don't know the definition no of. parasocial is like me with harry styles like hmm can't explain it. Um, parasocial relationships are one-sided relationships where one mm-hmm. person extends emotional energy, interest, and time exactly. and the other party. The persona is completely unaware of the others. Ex- oh, yeah. So, I mean, technically, yeah, we're not parasocial. It's not parasocial. It's just a regular one. Yeah, it's just regular. I have parasocial regular. with Harry. He doesn't know I love him or that I exist. But what I love he him. he does, though? Impossible. We made eye contact once. This is me always feeding into Sarah's delusions, by the way. I'm always like, And oh. you never let me just, like, have No, um, like, I never realistic. make people crazy. I'm always like, no, he probably knows who you are. <laughs> like, he probably does. That doesn't help. Speaking of Harry Styles, I told Destiny. I don't remember his last podcast, the one before you brought up Duplicity, like, the biggest oh, yeah. Wattpad. I told Destiny. It was Destiny. the last podcast. It was. I told yeah. you I downloaded Wattpad again. And my profile picture is so funny because it's from middle school. It's, like, me doing the duck face, but, like, my face isn't in it. It's just a duck face. And I redownloaded it. There was nothing on there, which I was really upset about. I don't know where all my stuff went, but I am starting to read Duplicity. I haven't started yet. I don't know when I will, but it's my goal to read it this year. It's really long, so I don't know how long it'll take me. What is it about? Oh, I wa- there's a trailer. If you download it and you go to like the story, there's a trailer, and I watched it. And basically, Harry is obviously not like Harry, whatever. It's the fanfic, but Harry and his band, they're in a band called Duplicity, so it's not like okay, a One so Direction. It's not one Direction, but no, it's are the, Niall Liam. Yeah. yeah, it's like their band. Okay, so she's avoiding copyright. Yeah, so they're in okay. a band Duplicity, and the main girl's a photographer and a photographer for Duplicity, but they're not just like a band. Like in the trailer, there's like a robbery. So it's there's a little drugs. bit of mafia. Yeah, it's like a dark romance, fanfic romance. So to the public, they're Duplicity. Yes, but on the streets. On the streets, they're. A, a gang maybe i don't know, know. I don't know. <laughs> um the trailer was really i'm gonna show you the trailer it's actually really good it's like when people used to write the like fanfics okay this is mm-hmm. maybe too niche okay. but it was like i got sold to one direction oh yeah and it was like um your mom is just like a piece of crap mm-hmm. and like she sells you to one direction yeah, to she get needs money to, like, yeah pay something because off. all of a sudden one direction is not a band they're kind of running like a mafia of some sort. <laughs> They're super rich. They live in these mega mansions. Mm-hmm. But it's still One Direction. Yeah. But uh, in this world, they don't... They're not a band. They're just One no. Direction and the mafia. That's yeah. literally their mafia. Name. Yes. I wish I remember the one that I read. Like, it was my favorite. I would wait for the chapters to upload. And it was like that. Like, she comes downstairs and it's like One Direction's there. And she's like, to her daughter. They're it's like, like, I'm selling you. We're here to take you, love. Basically, well, yeah. You. You're now all. Yeah. I like have like pictures of the scenes in my head that I would read about, but I don't know what it was called or anything that happened. But it was like, pretty dark for me to be reading in middle school. What's the pipeline of like <laughs> loving One Direction and then being like loving it enough to write a fanfic, mm-hmm. but then to take it a step further and be like, no, it's not just like a girl, like it's not just YN and the audience reading a book at the One Direction concert. No, it's she's dark. so different. Yeah. it's they're gonna be in the mafia <laughs> i don't know you're gonna get sold to one direction like it and they always would start off with like her waking up getting out of bed looking in the mirror and being like my stringy hair mm-hmm. and i, I tie bun. on my converse yeah and i come outside and my mom's like get out pack your bags i just sold you to harry yeah. styles <laughs> i don't know why yeah i don't know why they all start like that i feel like the imagination's really started running and like the authors of the these like books or whatever they're like 
teenagers or even younger and they're writing the craziest little no, stories like girl because ao3 is like women mm-hmm. who are writing these fanfics mm-hmm. no. but shout out to ao3 because i uh read some of the oh god what's it called it's like a famous for not famous but they're famous on ao3 and mm-hmm. they wrote like the whole entire actor series from Rezan's point oh, of view oh yeah i heard about that and the other day i saw somebody who basically like printed that whole entire book out and did like a bind up oh, of it. Oh, put it into a book? Yeah. Like they're not selling it. They did it for themselves because yeah. they love that much. Because it is good. And Sarah J. Mass herself has even said like that is like the closest that she's oh, ever she seen. Read it? Like how she would write. Yeah. Oh, how wow. she would write like Rezand cool. in Akatar. Because you need to like it anyway. Yeah. Um, AO3 is for women. Yeah. Wattpad is for the girls. Oh, and yeah. When I say girls, not just like, oh, for the girls. Like when we say like girls. No. Like I was like 15, 16. Mm-hmm literally like reading these things that other 15 and 16 year olds were writing yeah like i remember i think i was reading this in like middle school i think i was like 12 years old yeah 13 years old no, like, like very very that young were like you shouldn't be reading the instagram ones were my favorite though i would wait i would go to that page and the worst though Every time is there was friends. could you screenshot an iphone back then like i don't know Maybe I just never did it, but I couldn't. I had to scroll through all of them to figure out where I was because all of the chapters on the Instagram ones was just like a picture. It was all just the cover, and the captions would be like the story. But shout out to the ones because there were some where they would, it would be like the cover of the book, Mm -hmm. but then they would write, like they would put like chapter 40. Yeah. And they, they that were was long. a time. They oh were yeah, long. they were long. Those were my favorite. I would be so excited to go back and see if they up like update it. Those were fun. But it's Those so funny time. that somehow we always end up bringing up the Instagram ones because I feel like it's so mm-hmm. niche. Because you can talk about Wattpad, you can talk about Ao3, but shout out to the real ones who were out here. Like those are my in favorite. The Instagrams. Mm-hmm that were just like reading the instagram ones yeah and like there was nowhere for you to really talk about it like i don't know where i found these right i don't know how i came across them tumblr either, maybe but i remember like one of them was like dance moms i know you I always say the them. dance moms no, one's like, crazy that was the only one that i really read on instagram <laughs> yeah i feel like the one direction ones were just popular there's yeah. a lot of those still is i miss the whole entire wattpad phase i but you I should got- read duplicity with me you should we better read duplicity it's really long like you know how like a book says like eight hours yeah that one's like two days to finish the whole book and see in my brain my challenge is that i want to read it in one <laughs> i want to read it it's in really one. really long oh there's a sequel too come starts with a c Compl- is it complicity i don't know the name of it does it follow the same people or does it follow like nile no i think it's a <laughs> it's a companion novel <laughs> it's a companion novel series she starts writing one for each of the members of the band years later no i think it's a didn't sequel it, did it just get completed like recently i think so because i didn't even know it was completed until i like looked it up and saw there's a second it's long really long thing and my toxic thing not You're reading it <laughs> like unless it's completed that's I'm why i wanted to it. check because if it was still being uploaded or updated but then i saw there's a second and the girl fan cast is madeline klein like sarah cameron so i think that's the like the tiktoks i've seen are her in like all of them but then there's also like now they're using like ai to like no, that's create what I, was about to say. I saw ai ones this yeah. morning but the scenes they look real and i like re- yeah yes. i have to show you the trailer it looks real and no, my friend's I reading the ai ones this morning so I was like, <laughs> okay when i read duplicity like- yeah my friend's reading it too and she said they're at the robbery scene because it's like it's in the trailer like it, you know there's a robbery scene and like she screenshotted the page and sent it to me and it takes place in like atlantic city robbery and that's like an hour away like that's new jersey it takes why place we, i have to know why they're in new jersey i know i'm gonna read i'll let you know okay thank you so much you're welcome if there's other you know for a video I, i've thought about this for months mm-hmm. but i'm too scared to do it reading wattpad no like going through like my old wattpad oh, library God. because i'm still signed into my like wattpad that i use like my only wattpad account and um i wanted to like read through and like read excerpts you should i wish mine were saved i guess i didn't maybe they didn't save or i deleted them there's nothing on there it's empty i remember let's just talk about wattpad (laughs) i remember uh one of them i was making a mafia what was it what is the pipeline of that i think because it was different like it was like and i guess i thought that like authors like weren't just like putting out mafia books yeah they are (laughs) hey yeah they are um i remember one of them i can remember the cover too but i can't remember was it come back to me oh my god is that what the name was i'm about to look i can't remember the names of any of them i it's engraved my brain because this was one of the ones i would reread and it was like she i think she was from like a she was either from a rival like crime family or she wasn't in it at all Mm -hmm. (laughs) hey um anyway and she like goes and she ends up in a relationship with like the guy of the mafia but then like his right hand man his don no or is the don the guy 
I, I used to be like schooled in the education of mafia <laughs> terminology. And my favorite thing was when you could tell that Google translated Italian and they would put like the Italian oh, in yeah. there and then they'd be like, scroll to the bottom to see what it means. And I was like, girl, you Google translated this. Oh, they were dedicated like, though. She like becomes best friends. Like she's the romance with the head of the mafia. And then his like secondhand man, that's, uh, that's always their best friends, mm-hmm. right? In every mafia one that I read like that was like always the pipeline was that she was really good friends with the like secondhand man. Well, she was like best friends with him. And then all of a sudden he, <laughs> spoiler, you guys don't care. <laughs> he dies all of a sudden. I remember this had me gagged. They don't care killing no, characters off. He dies and you go through like emotional turmoil. Mm-hmm. She, like you see the character grieve, mm-hmm. you see the guy grieve. And by this point you're in love with them because like <laughs> Wattpad writers love writing long and a lot of chapters. Mm-hmm. So you're like getting a lot of book. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if we put these books into a bind up, they were probably like over a thousand oh, pages. Yeah, like, easily. let's be so real. And I was reading them like in a night. Yeah. Like, it's I was you're on just something scrolling different. on your phone. Your like, phone. Yeah. It feels like nothing. It was brain rot, yeah. also. Yeah. And so I was like, oh my God. And then I learned he's not dead. You learned that he's oh. not dead. He fell in love with a girl that didn't want anything to do with the mafia life. So he like okay, faked his twist. death. Yes. No. Had me on the floor. That's I like was that like, book you read that was giving the Wattpad oh my twist. God, yes, the, when you, the uh, whole story you explained was it to called? me. No, that's what I was telling you. I was like, this literally, it took me back to like sitting in my bed at 16 years old and it being 3 a.m. and I like have to get it for school in three hours. Yeah. And me just keep on, I keep on looking at the time and I'm like, just <laughs> slow down. I need to get to this part of the book. <laughs> And I can remember I don't being remember like, what it was and called. she visits him, and she like goes off on him, and he's like has this house in the middle of nowhere with his That's like crazy. Love. They knew how to like twist a little story oh my like God, that, and it was good. Yeah, too. like I kind of <laughs> want to like go back and reread it. And she was like so upset with him, and he was like, "You need to understand, like I needed to leave this mafia life behind." And she mm-hmm. was like, "I get it." And also, I think part of that book, there's two books actually. No, I, sequel. The more I talk, the more I remember. And in the 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 way that the first book ended off was that because she falls in love with this guy, mm-hmm. and then they end up like breaking up on the first book. It ends in a cliffhanger because uh-huh. they break up. I can't remember if it was because that he was like, I don't want to put you in danger because you know he like they fell in love and he was like, it's so dangerous to be with me. Like I can't stand the thought of like something ever happening to you, so I'm yeah. gonna break up with you and make you act reckless. They were big <laughs> you know? on cliffhangers. They were big, and on then you had to wait yes. for the next yes. chapter, but you don't know when they're gonna upload it. That was but the this worst. Book ended. And I was uh, like, oh, that's what? annoying. So then <laughs> a whole other book comes the out. The <laughs> next book comes out. I remember like the beginning, the guy best friend, the second mm-hmm. man would like visit her when she was being like self-destructive mm-hmm. and he would be like, like they had a good friendship. So then when he died, <laughs> it really crushed me. Like, that's it crazy. was crazy. Like, no, that one. And I think I've talked about it before on the podcast that lovely by Billie Eilish. Okay. This song is ruined for me. Like I still listen to it, but every time I listen to it, I think about this Wattpad book <laughs> where it starts <laughs> <laughs> they're so unhinged no they are but that's why they were good yeah. <laughs> but it starts off as like this is so funny too because i didn't know tropes like when when we were reading these yeah. books like i didn't know that this was like a trope that people like read yeah it was started off as a billionaire trope but oh. it also started off as like boss okay. so she gets hired at this company he's the boss and he's like a billionaire whatever he's so rich <laughs> and um they like fall in love whatever boom plot twist it's like her family that's kind of like in a crime like not mafia but kind of along yeah. those lines and so you're like oh wow and by this time they're like married with kids it's like all the way down the road and you're like oh like whatever a shootout scene happens and they're away from their kids they were like on a on like a nice vacation and um she gets shot and killed (laughs) oh my god she dies and then I thought, no, because, you know, Wattpad writers also like to be like, she died, but, like, she didn't really die. Like, yeah. they kind of revived her. The plot the holes chapter. are crazy, too, but you believe them. Oh, yeah, no, you do. Like, like nothing you, makes you sense. look past them. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even care. Yeah. And, <laughs> so entertaining. Um, like, this is so entertaining. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, they're probably going to do, like, the, you know, medically impossible, but bring her back to life. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember reading, it was, like, epilogue. And I was like, okay, <laughs> like, this is weird. It's going to be a happy ending. Yeah. No. This author was so unhinged that it was like a fast forward to him visiting her at the grave with her two sons. And then they had this like house that they had just built that was like her dream house. And he was talking about like how he missed her so much. And then oh I, my God. I was in biology reading this. Sobbing. And literally trying to fight back tears like, <laughs> and you know. 
And then I was listening to Lovely by Billie Eilish, uh, walking through the hallways, just do it. thinking about this book. Yeah. Like, that's when I should have known. Like, I was destined for this. Oh, You easily. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I have that's such an unhealthy attachment to characters. Were those just stories? Or were they, like, fanfics? They were just stories? Those were just stories. Oh, okay. I wasn't big into, like, fanfics because I could never, like, I, I read all of the after books. Mm-hmm. But to me, I just imagined they weren't Harry Styles. Okay. Like, because to me... That always felt weird to me. I don't know why I could never read fanfics because I was mm-hmm. like, I guess in my mind I used to always think this like if Harry Styles read this book, I guarantee he'd yeah. be like really like. Well, he that's the whole thing is he's very like. There's no way he's not uncomfortable with like no, the movie I mean. and everything. Especially based on the him. after books. Oh yeah, I think I read the first one like when it was like written on Wattpad and stuff. But like, I was so young reading them that like it didn't yeah. matter how Harry Styles felt. Harry Styles felt about yeah. it. I was just like, no, this is good, and I think that made my obsession even worse. And I think like start if I start duplicity, it's gonna make it bad because if One Direction ever like had a reunion tour, I'm like, oh. They were like too busy fucking robbing, you know. You're gonna think that the reason that they had to like step back from One Direction is because they <laughs> their mafia business like has taken over. Yeah, it's gonna really ruin the delusional. Imagine mind. It's an autobiography by Harry Styles this whole entire time. Can you imagine? <laughs> All the Wattpad stories are true. He's been in the dark business. <laughs> no, he's been in the dark business. That's why he's out of the public eye mm-hmm. a lot of the time. It's all his heart. That's crazy. Who knows what he's doing in London? <laughs> Don't start this. He's just like <laughs> what a spiral. Buying bike routes, but Aww. that is so funny. Every time I talk about Wattpad, I feel so nostalgic, and I'm I like, know. I should get back I, like, to my roots. I could picture myself like I. I remember reading them like at my dad's house, like his old house in the basement, on my little my little phone, and I like just picture it, and it really I, yeah. takes me back. It takes me back as well to laying in my bed and on my iPad. Yeah, <laughs> the iPad, <laughs> the, iPad the big iPad. Well, no, like because it was it was like a big screen, so I was like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. like this is this. Yeah, is good. the iPhones were so small too. Like the screens, like no, like the, yeah, yeah I never had forever. like this is the first time this phone that I have now was the first time I ever got like a Max, like the big oh, version of yeah. the phone. So I always had a small version too, mm-hmm. like the oh my god, we complain about the small screen, <laughs> like you know, okay, get a grip. But that's why I read on my iPad. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just like, it's all coming back to me now. All of the ones that I was obsessed with. I know. I wish I had the one that I like loved saved. I have no idea what the name of it was. I don't even know the real story or what happened. But I remember loving it. It's just, I was into the most unhinged stuff. <laughs> like I, and another one that I can remember to make it quick. The girl at the beginning, her parents die. They get murdered. I don't know. It's like years later, she's living on her own. Whatever. She has to go live with this guy somehow. I forget the how that happened yeah. but then like they fall in love right yeah she ends up with child and then he cheats on her oh my god and you know now like i would be like you guys would hear me in a wrap-up go screw this guy yeah nope ate it up I had the love blinders <laughs> on i was just like there's gonna be an explanation for this mm-hmm. like there has to be and there wasn't one mm-hmm. i don't remember but just like okay just it's so funny to me because if I could look back, like, the amount of books that I was going through in, like, a week, mm-hmm. I, it had to be because I was, like, mentally, like, just deranged. Yeah, because you don't realize how much you're reading in those books. No. They just keep going. And they're and they so good. Feel real. Do you remember? This is what, oh, I miss, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But it's, like, when you really reminisce on a time, yeah. like, the beginning of book talk mm-hmm. with the same circulated, like, 10 to 15 books. Oh, yeah. But do you remember seeing the TikToks of the girls who would bring Punk 57 to school That's and have their great. guy friends read it? <gasps> what do I not remember? No, but I remember these two guys made a YouTube channel and reading, like, books like that. But, no, these girls, they did, like, a series where they would take, like, the OG book talk books, mm-hmm. like, Punk 57, Birthday Girl, oh, gosh. Akatar, like, all of these different things to mm-hmm. school, and they would have their guy friends read them. And then a lot of people It's educating them. It. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this, only the spicy scenes though sometimes when we're in barnes when i take chris with me to barnes i'll like <laughs> i'll like i'll point out the books i've read he'll point out books i've read and then like if he ever points like icebreaker i open it up i'm like this is what's in this book you think this is a wholesome ice skating hockey romance and i start showing him them too i'm like nope and he's like that is actually insane <laughs> yeah i remember when because i like i don't know i just skip over the spicy books because sometimes i feel like I feel like my anxiety follows me everywhere and I'm like, I just want to see what's going on progressing through the plot. Yeah. Like, I don't care about this. And so whatever. And I'll never forget when <laughs> Russ was going viral on TikTok for like mm-hmm. trying to, his claim to fame, trying to claim to book talk, even though he never read the actor books. I've done, told you guys mm-hmm. that I hated when he's doing that. And so I was like, I remember Isaac was seeing the TikToks and he, he went ahead and used Google <laughs> and him and Jared looked up 
a Court of Silver Flames, whatever scene, spicy. and read them. And <laughs> no <they're> way. Like, <laughs> and then I... You should show them the graphic audio. <laughs> I have never been more like, just because I didn't even remember them because mm-hmm. I didn't read those parts. But I just like, now, you know, I remember them. Yeah. And so I was like, oh my God. And then now, like whenever I'm reading a book, yeah. Isaac will be like what's that about and i I'm know like, yeah they just assume the whole thing is just the spice yeah and i'm like yeah. no that's not what it is yeah it's, it's like also not like the pages. prevalent part of like books unless you're like no. choosing a book that's like heavy on that no. it's, it's just like usually just a few scenes yeah but they probably assume there's like a lot of no it they there. do <laughs> and i'm like it's this it, to me it's the same exact thing if you're watching a movie and those type of scenes pop up and yeah. it's like only like 30 seconds and yeah, then but when like you're over. with someone else like they know you're watching that or they know you're reading a spicy and it feels oh longer my God. and more no uncomfortable one talks <laughs> about the awkwardness like for example me and my mom didn't sit down and watch bridgerton together <gasps> no you didn't no we didn't we oh didn't. you didn't but i, was gonna I, say. I watched it and she watched it like separately <laughs> and then when we talk about it it's just almost like it feels like this uncomfortable thing in the center because <laughs> that that show was like yeah. unreal. You, you know, it's funny. My mom, I remember her. I was at school and I lived with my friend Lauren, and my mom was like home watching sh- whatever. And she told me she started Bridgerton, but she only got like three episodes in. She's like, you should, start, you should start it. So me and Lauren start it, but we finish it. And I'm like, my mom can't finish this. She can't watch the rest, knowing no. that I watched the whole season. It is. It's like a whole episode dedicated. No, to it. Like I didn't. And you know, you know, this is a bad thing too because that just makes me feel awkward. So I will just go like this and skip mm-hmm. to try to find the scenes where like they're just talking. Yeah. And I remember googling if it was like real because they made that really realistic. There's like intimacy court that yeah. has always been a thing in my brain. And I think because I think about so much stuff. So when like scenes like those pop up, I'm like question mark. Yeah. Always question mark. Mm-hmm. Like what and then so one time on there was like a woman who is an intimacy coordinator that works Mm -hmm. like that's her job is for movies to do that but you know there's actually a lot of movies that don't have intimacy coordinators that's crazy Mm -hmm. have you ever watched the proposal with ryan reynolds and sandra bullock no of course not (laughs) um there's like one scene they don't do anything but there's one scene where they're both like naked and it's like a funny scene because she's getting out of the shower and he's about to like go take a shower and Mm -hmm. he doesn't know that she's in the room and they like fall like Mm -hmm. she has like whatever and they were like I think they made a joke like there's no intimacy coordinator on the set of that movie. That's crazy. And you need one. Yeah, because like, it's very one. vulnerable. You're also you're on cameras. And you're it's with a, a weird not a random thing person, to but like do. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's like whenever I see a TikTok of just like a scene of something and all the comments are like I would fall in love in two seconds. <laughs> of just like two actors, like a like a rom com movie. And everyone's like, How do you not fall in love? Yeah, I don't know. Separating how they do like it. acting and like your character from like real life, like but it would like all mix in my head. <laughs> is that when you see couples that either a have an affair with their co-star or mm-hmm. b they date their co-star, Tom Holland and Zendaya, mm-hmm. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. It makes sense. Like the chemistry is that good. Chemistry. Ryan Gosling and Ava Mendes. Oh, I just had to think about it. <laughs> Sorry. So it's fine. Sometimes day, it's lost on you. One day you should. Like, show me pictures of famous people and try to have me guess their names. Oh, my God. That should, the, that should be an end of episode fun thing. Okay. I'm going to write that down in my brain. Okay. That's, <laughs> Guaranteed can't. I literally... No, I need to. Because today, mm-hmm. me and Sarah were talking about you again. We were sitting in Barnes. And I was like, oh, he looks like Adam Driver. And Sarah was like, I think... I, I bet that I mean you were thinking of the same person, but I don't know who that is by the name. Yeah, and, I was like, and it was okay. the right one. I never didn't know that was his name. But I also feel like I have a lot of like useless knowledge. Like <laughs> I said this to Isaac one time because he was like, you know, like everything about pop culture. One time we sat down, like you know how people make like the random YouTube videos where they're like mm-hmm. pop up a picture and they're like, what is this? We did it, and I was getting like every single person, <laughs> every single question right. And I'm like, I think I just rot my brain. I <laughs> truly think I just rot my brain with the most useless yeah. knowledge ever. I'm good. I think I'm good in like the music world, but when it comes yeah. to like actors, anyone famous that's not a singer, honestly, singers are kind of hard. It's kind of hard unless they're like very famous. I don't singers know. I don't look into because I just hear their voice and I don't even see their face. Yeah, I guess I don't watch enough. I haven't watched anything. No, popular. you haven't. <laughs> and you I'll can't like, get me to i'll be like because for example we were talking about you again and i was like oh yeah it's a harry when harry met sally retelling Never seen and it. then sarah just kind of looked at me and i said have you ever watched when harry met sally and she was like nope and then i was talking about meg ryan's haircut and you've got mail i was like you know that but she nope i was like they're literally the most <laughs> Like iconic rom coms. You don't you don't watch rom coms? You've never just no. been like, let me watch a rom com. What in high school I did. I've seen like I don't know the names of them. What's the one with the girl in the yellow dress? <laughs> uh Ten Things I Hate About You? No, but I've seen that. Okay. Um oh, not what's, t- what's her name? Sorry, no. Oh my god, how to lose a guy in ten days. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know There's why also I another one where her dad doesn't want her to date the guy because he's kind of like 
not as like high class as her she's blonde he kind of has like longish hair Ugh, i don't know the name of it she wears like a white dress on their date <laughs> it's a rom-com it's really good and i remember watching it obviously because you could not remember the name it's very good <laughs> uh, it's popular i'm okay. pretty sure it's popular i like, just i feel like i don't i don't know you definitely know what it is though um but yeah sarah basically knows nothing whenever i'm like oh yeah this is that she's like it's lost on me babe i don't know what you're talking about and i'm like no cool yeah that's great but you educate me yeah one day you no, know, somebody oh, was it a dm or something that i got and they're like you should make sarah sit down and like watch these movies <laughs> i was like sarah's attention span i can't god love her unless we're watching it together i probably could because then i'd feel bad going on my phone when i'm watching with chris huh Sarah says this, but we were watching The Summer I Turned Pretty, and literally, <laughs> I we're watching The Summer I Turned Pretty, and I go, I forgot I did that. And I go, oh my God. <laughs> and I start talking, and she's like, wait, what? Hold on. And rewinds it. And this happened like two times where she was playing her little games on her phone. And I was like, Sarah, <laughs> you're not watching this. And she was like, I know, I'm so bad at it. And I, was like, <laughs> I can't. That's why I can't finish shows. It's just like, I don't know. I still haven't watched. Daisy Jones last episode. You did not finish Red, it. White, and you Royal Blue. You were on the last episode. I have the last one left. Red, White, and Royal Blue. I watched the first 10 minutes and then I went on my phone. I was like, no point. I haven't seen great things about that movie. I don't know oh, if I'll really? ever watch it. I'll watch it eventually. Never. <laughs> you, <laughs> Never gonna watch it. No, you're not. Because in Sarah's free time, like, here's a thing that happens to me where I'll be like, okay, I should be responsible and, like, read a book for this video. Or I could watch a movie or a TV show. And, and you I'm pick a movie? Like, I'll watch a movie. Like, that's just ultimate relaxation. Mine's either movie. reading or TikTok or my games. Oh, my God. I got a new game I have to show you on my phone. That is so funny because I told Isaac the other day, I was like, I feel like I'm with Sarah because we were, like, sitting in the back seat and he was playing his little, like, our, uh, like, whatever, RT car game that's on his phone, like, where he drives it. And mm -hmm. I'm like, this is so funny. I love driving games. There's a parking no. one. It's my favorite. Oh, my God. It's so good. <laughs> but I got a new one. I'll show you. But I can't wait to see that. But I run a hotel. <laughs> There, then why aren't you playing Animal Crossing if you like stuff like that? Because this one's more like fast paced. Okay. Like you have to get things done fast. Like Animal Crossing is like very like calm and like. Yeah. I love the music that goes on with Animal Crossing and I love just building my own little island. Yeah, see, I just started it and then I was like, I don't know what to do now and I never went back on. I literally brought my Switch with me. Like, when am I going to have to oh. play it? I don't know. I should have brought mine. We could have done that. <laughs> Avoided everything. Dude, I literally love Animal Crossing so much. It's not okay. I need to oh, get wait, back we on. didn't talk about our dotes. Oh, I didn't remember. I didn't even see you bring that down. I did. I snuck it. You did? Mm hmm Is your dot? Well... The way we usually share to each other our dotes, because we don't know. But they're right in I front know. of us today. Um. Well, we actually weren't doing, like, super out-of-the-box dotes, because our end of the episode fun thing kind of surrounds around drinks so mm -hmm. we were like yeah we're not gonna overload but i have stomach ulcers and stomach issues so i actually have a ginger ale with me the way you just like announced that what so i have stomach ulcers <laughs> <laughs> this is the title so destiny has something to tell everybody <laughs> destiny's like, announcement i have stomach ulcers that have been making my life miserable lately so now i have been stocking up on ginger ale every time i go somewhere like we were at a restaurant the other day when i was like with Isaac and then I was like do they have ginger ale and Isaac was like what is it like when have you ever drank ginger ale it's like my stomach ulcers are like really I'm really here to play yeah what's yours mine's water because I got blood work the other day oh yeah you want to tell them about what you I were just told had, what you have two now yeah okay so I just I had to get like my check about the doctor so I get blood work like I think it's like once a year or something and my results came back I have to drink more water they also said that I have a high cholesterol ah and what i does had that, that mean? i had that like a long time ago i think that's just like salt and like carbs and stuff i don't oh. eat healthy i eat like a 12 year old kid oh. so maybe that's that's why oh. but i had it when i was like um like a few years ago like high school i think and like working out and like eating healthy helps that and I, it went away but now it's back because <laughs> i eat chicken fingers and fries every day i would never get blood work done oh really they actually had to draw my blood one time when I went to the emergency room and I literally almost cried. And he was like, I'll give you a children's needle. And I was like, why didn't you do that in the first place? <laughs> like, why are you trying to give me yeah. an adult's needle? I had to go by myself, but I just looked the other way. I just let her do it. She's really nice, the, the nurse. But, yeah. It's, yeah, I don't know. I'm not scared of needles. Like, I don't have a phobia of needles. Mm -hmm. It's like the thought of it. I yeah. think everything in my life is like the thought is yeah. what scares me more than the actual thing. Well, yeah, that's why I don't look because I don't want to see like the vials of what they're doing to me. Like if yeah. I don't see, it's okay. It's I only three. passed out once from like needles and getting put um, anesthesia. Because you can't, when I was getting anesthesia, I think I had to get 
what's the one that tube that goes down your throat endoscopy they had to like check my stomach so they had to put like oh, camera yeah, down my yeah, throat that's like a yeah i, I think, think it's something like that. that and i had to do that but you can't eat or like whatever certain hours before so like i went and i was already like thirsty hungry like i was very like whatever and the thought of getting anesthesia always scares me yeah like just like I, i'm fine getting like put down and then waking up i'm all good with that but the thought of going into it freaks me out so it was my first time and i was having a panic and they bring me back and my mom wasn't allowed back because when you're 18 or older like yeah, your mom can't, can't come i was like i'm just a little girl like my mom has to come with me but they wouldn't let her and i'm standing there and they're putting needles on me and they're like three nurses around me i'm very overwhelmed and i just like see black and i pass out and then they had to wait i had to lay there for like an hour yes. so like blood would come back in my system so i was there even longer and i'm like shaking it was so bad and the second time the doctor he saw me shaking and he was like do you like music or something and i was like yeah i love harry styles and then we go, he like rolls me into the room and then on his phone he starts playing harry styles Aww. and he put a blanket on me i like to shaking doctor, oh he was great loved him that's so sweet yeah. to like put on harry styles that's yeah. so sweet I was that's having like a, a pain seasoned pain. professional oh yeah it was great i love how harry comes for you for like in your most desperate times <laughs> He's really there for you. He is, and that's why I love him. And it's okay, he's on the who I am. See, I love too that you were able to look at the doctor and be like, I like Harry Styles. Because like if the doctor asked me that, I would be so I don't like, listen to music. <laughs> blacked out. Because like sometimes like when my anxiety gets to like that point that I'm like shaking, yeah. I am checked out. You can say anything you yeah. want to me and I'm not receiving it. Like I'm literally I, like, nope. Yeah, nope. I thought he was asking me just to like calm me down. But he yeah. was being really kind. Do you ever Do see it. those TikToks of the the girls that have babies that didn't know they were pregnant? Stop i think that's my like top fear my fear over actually being pregnant is being pregnant and not knowing that's i can't even <laughs> handle that I'm i think it's crazy that that's a thing i always like i always have a thousand questions for them when i see those tiktoks because i'm always like where is it not even where is Why it just, like, how did you not know it's like one of those things there's no like there's no telling until like you're ready to have the baby and then that you just think crazy. it's stomach you're going in for your stomach pain and they're like oh stop you just <laughs> maybe i'm sorry for bringing that one up i'm gonna feel like mary <laughs> like that's what you feel like in that situation yeah. crazy though literally insane you know what else is crazy and insane what sarah has new hair that she hasn't talked about <laughs> i was like what's crazy i do have new hair if you guys didn't see or didn't notice sometimes in different lighting it doesn't look the yeah, color that know, it is because like, the clip i have a clip on the camera to like give us better lighting I, th I don't know if you can like you can see sarah but i don't know if you can, can you see tell? the shades of her hair but if you saw it on insta she did a hair reveal yeah i posted on instagram and i think my most recent video or two one has this color hair but is it in your october tbr your new hair yeah okay so it go is. watch the october tbr it, and get it from instagram you can see it yeah i did post it but it wasn't like the most random because i remember last year i went to my hairdresser and i always see every time i see a girl with red hair like orange copper hair i always think their hair is so beautiful i've always wanted this color hair and i told my hairdresser last year that i wanted to do it but i was too scared because i'm like bleaching my hair and everything or changing my hair i don't know why i'm really scared like i just like having my normal hair color but i told her last year i wanted to do it and then i was too scared so i said okay next year we'll do it and then instead last year i think i just like bleached it a little bit made it lighter just to prepare myself because i've never dyed my hair or I've never bleached my hair so this year i remember jamming her and i was like i think i want to do it but it all happened really quick so i sent her like a couple inspo pictures and at first i wanted like a a brighter orange red color because it looks really good on like the girls that like have that hair color so i sent her that and then she put me in five days later i went in and she was bleaching my hair i think i just got like a it was like a balayage because i didn't do my whole head it's just like half not half my head but like my roots are still there um she's bleaching my hair and i'm there for like five hours i also didn't tell anyone I told like barely anyone like no one really knew it my mom i like joked with her that morning when i was going to get my hair done and she really asked what i was doing but i was like what if i come back with like red hair like orange hair what would you what would you think and i think she thought i was joking i kind of was like jo making a joke of it but she didn't even like have an idea but i went and it took a very long time she had to bleach like basically almost my whole head and i came out and my hair was like i sent pictures and it looked cute in the pictures but it was like really bright orange and that's exactly what i asked for like she did what i asked so it was like it was cute it was cute it was cute but like i feel like for me i need like a darker yeah. color like i can't be like I, a yeah. light color i could tell so sarah had told me you, we had talked about you doing it because mm -hmm. i remember like one time like months ago we, we were like talking about hair or something mm -hmm. and i remember looking at you and i think if you brought it up or something i was like you would look really good with like a red tint in your hair mm -hmm. like dark and red 
and you were like, oh yeah, I've thought about that before. And then she told me like, hey, I have a hair appointment next week and I'm going to do this to my hair. And I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. And then the hair appointment comes around and you were like, I'm getting my hair done today. And I was like, ooh, okay, please send me pictures as soon as possible. And then you sent me the pictures and I was like, oh my God, it looks so great. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, pictures that look I really pretty. I could tell Sarah's energy. She's like, really? Like I could tell when she was saying like, really yeah well when i said you it to, had doubts yeah i sent it to you and then i sent it to lauren and then i was like do you guys actually like it yeah because i was like trying to convince myself that i liked it yeah because every time i looked in the mirror like i didn't really recognize myself like it was like the color literally of your your microphone topper like it was like in person i wish someone saw it in person other than my mom it was bright orange well, no, but you sent me like the pictures in the light when you were standing by your jeep let okay me, oh yeah let me yeah pull them up for reference because that i remember that looking was bright at that, orange and it didn't it didn't look like it didn't look bad at all but it just looked way different than what you had sent me yeah and i have i can show you a tiktok i made a transition and never posted it because it was like the original hair i got but that's why i didn't post anything or tell anyone because i wasn't sure if i was going to keep it or like sit with it or whatever so i think i i think that night i went home and showed my mom yeah and i think it's live like you could see it's like bright right yeah it is yeah it's like, yeah it's like super bright yeah and it didn't look bad it's just for me like it was too bright so my mom was trying to tell me she was like you can sit with it but like i personally think like if i were you i'd try to like make it a little dark or whatever so i was like yeah like i'll sit with it i'll think about it and i woke up the next morning and i looked in the mirror and i dm my lady and i was like actually like i actually can't look at myself um you did exactly what i asked you but can we make it a little darker and she had like an opening she had like a gap in her day so she put me in and i went that day we were supposed to film the podcast but i was like yeah i actually really need to fix this Which we ended up filming it later and i was like sarah it's okay yeah. <laughs> like we're gonna roll with the punches here because i was like already like we'll just do an audio only yeah because that's why we did audio only last week was because sarah was like okay i didn't, t- I didn't post about my hair telling him about my no. hair and it would have been a really big yeah if and you that. wanted your moment and i was like well yeah. you girl, have your moment to like it's your hair reveal it is a big thing like reveal your hair yeah and we'll do an audio only like it's not a big deal yeah, that's, that's why we didn't have a video last week yeah well we already like established we we're gonna do audio only when you first got your hair done and yeah. i feel like part of it and this is was my thought and you tell me if i'm right part of it went before you even knew you were gonna go get it like redone you mm-hmm. were like i feel like you were like i don't want anyone to see it right now because yeah. you didn't like that's it, why so i didn't tell anyone like, or post about yeah, it or anything you were like can we do uh, you were like acting whatever and i said we can do an audio only episode and you were like are you sure like you were literally like yes like i don't yeah. want to do audio only so I then didn't i was like do the video. have your moment i was like it's okay go get your hair redone mm-hmm. like i know what i would be doing if i got my hair done and it wasn't like yeah. you know not the stylist fault but just like oh yeah i didn't realize what i was asking for and then it like i didn't think about whatever yeah and so i was like go get your hair done girl we'll do audio only episode yeah and thankfully i had a vlog i was filming for like that week i didn't have to film anything that week or like i had to get anything up like i had with my like original like my brunette hair but yeah she let me come back and i didn't even like tell her like exactly what i wanted i was like i just want to be a darker shade like i trust her with literally everything like she always does what i ask so i just went in and i I walk in i was like you're probably so mad at me like you're definitely mad at me because i felt so bad like she just spent five hours doing my hair and whatever but she did tell me after like if you have like a change of mind like you can obviously come back she's really nice i love her but i went back the next day and she made it darker she's really like glaze over it so like once it washes out and stuff it's gonna get lighter so i have to keep doing that yeah. over time but yeah she did like the perfect shade and it was like exactly what i wanted i think she could tell that i liked it a lot better because i know that she can tell i was iffy on it so she probably wasn't surprised that i messaged her again yeah and then yeah and then i came home and i sent everyone pictures and i like really really liked it and my yeah. mom too my mom was like yeah this is like this looks better because i think it's just the darker on like my i don't know it just looks better more natural yeah. i guess i don't know even though it's not natural you could tell too in the difference between like the photos you had sent me like the original photos that you sent me like mm-hmm. from the day before when yeah. you showed me like when you like took a selfie <laughs> i it's almost like the light was not in your eyes like you were just kind of like <laughs> like this is my hair. hair and then i was like oh what well, i love it but like do you not love it like yeah. I, and i didn't want to say that to Sarah because i didn't want her to think like i didn't like it and like to put doubt in her mind so i was yeah. like i just want to let you know that i think it looks great and i'm not gonna ask you if you like me and then i come on my mom's yeah. like no yeah which my mom which <laughs> so literally honest. have been a thousand my mom was like honest to a t sometimes <laughs> where she would have been like that looks awful yeah. like she would have not have tried to say my feelings at all she'd have been like yeah my mom me. kept saying that she was like you need to go darker and yeah. she my mom has like dark auburn hair like hers is darker I than really mine imagine your mom yeah you need to go dark yeah somewhere. and my <laughs> accent and my mom was like you should have my color <laughs> she's like you need this color i then they told your mom that when we were up in your room she's like what do you think of sarah's hair and i was like um i said i love it do you love it and she was like 
I think it should be brown. And then I looked at her and I said, well, your hair. She was like, yeah. I think she should like something like me. And I said, well, your hair is red. Yeah, mine just is like, since I have the bleached orange underneath the glaze, it's lighter. Like we couldn't go super dark with it. Yeah. So it still has like the orange tint in it. And I didn't want a red tint. Like I really liked the orange color. So I still have that in my hair and I really like it. It's grown on me. I think it's fun. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm really enjoying it. I love it. And it's an it's easy fun. thing to like dye your hair back to like what oh, yeah. it was. Like, I think that's what's good about experimenting with colors like that is like you could do like a glaze or even a dye. And yeah, I could put go it back, back to what it was. Like that's if I was blonde or like I had your hair and went this color, like going back Oh my blonde. God, it would be a nightmare to go yeah. back. <laughs> it would be really bad. It would be a nightmare. I think that's what sometimes like if, if you were somebody that's like blonde, like I am, always think like 10 times oh, before yeah. you like dye your hair like dark brown like don't let i want to say like don't let your emotions get the best of you because i even had times where i'm like going through something i'm like maybe i should it's dye like my hair impulse. dark yeah no it's like when you're kind of feeling impulsive or like maybe you're in like a mood or like something and you're like maybe i should do this i always think about how hard it would be to get back blonde oh, because yeah. i know i wouldn't want to be brunette that's for a like long time. me and lauren go to the same hairdresser and we went too and she went a little darker but she kept blonde in it because she has such a good blonde so like if she ever wants to go back it'll be easier to yeah. but like if she went like as brown as i was which she was once like getting back to like that good blonde you and have it to can, it takes time no it takes time my hair girl that i go to i love her because she would have looked me like say i dyed my hair brown she would have been like i hope you know that like we're not like she would never look at me and be like oh let's take you back blonde like, yeah it would kill your hair i always see like hair horror stories on tiktok oh, i'm just yeah. like blessed to have my hairdresser i'm like well no i can't imagine are you on hairdresser tiktok because i swear I get, sometimes i get hairdresser yeah, videos yeah. that's what and i like the ones where like they'll come in and they will sit down and talk yeah. through with them and they'll be like okay well we can't do that yeah um because also it really saves the stylist too to be like i'm not i can't do that and i'm not doing it yeah. like you know what i mean because if you look at somebody and you're like oh yeah we can do that like and then you don't do it like yeah they're going to be upset because yeah, at the, the end of the day like you did say with your word that you would be yeah and they'll tell this. everyone that it's not a good place. Yeah. And they didn't do, and couldn't so, do what they asked. It's like, I don't know. Hair is such a scary thing to do. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm so scared doing different things to my hair. Yeah. I'm just I'm too scared to do anything, but it's fun. So, I like it. I don't think it's I could fall. ever be experimental. I wish I could be experimental. I think you could. I, I think. I think you would look good with a, you're going to hate this, like a light, like orange, red color. Oh, I think I would look Not horrendous. red, but I, I think you look so cute. I think it would look horrendous. Okay. I think you would also look good if you had like a light brunette. Not brunette though like um, a very light like kind of like i mean i like i said the only the darkest that i think i could ever go is that picture that i showed you in the car yeah but like, what i'm saying is like that of, light brunette yeah. on the top like your whole head would be really really cute yeah but not like dark i know what you mean i think i don't know i'm always like i kind of almost identify myself like with blonde like i feel like mm -hmm. if i wasn't blonde i would like, have like an identity crisis yeah. moral story i don't think i would experiment with my hair but sarah's new hair is <laughs> thank I you especially when we were out in public today and like the daylight was shining on sarah's hair i was like it just looks so good Aww. and i wish i could see because sometimes i forget that this is the color of my hair i wish i could see what I, what it looks like yeah i only see like sometimes when i look in the mirror but i feel like i want to know like i want to see what it looks like yeah you know what i mean it's kind of like it's almost like when you get your hair cut mm -hmm. and you keep on going like this mm-hmm and you think your hair is like longer than it really is mm -hmm. well people also thought when i posted the picture like you asked me too if i got layers and everyone thought i got a haircut too i and guess it just looked because since your hair was so dark no one saw the layers yeah, that you already had but now that this gives dimension you yeah. can see the layers it's actually very had. true because i did think and it might have been just the way that she like had Blew it blown it out, out yeah. that it looked really she good curled kinda, you can't really tell yeah but yeah i've always had layers or like whatever curtain bangs i remember i used to never want layers and i remember one of the people that i went to just would cut my hair in layers and i never wanted them and i like realized i had layers and i was like oh that was when i was younger but they would do just like straight across and then i would cry because when my hair was cut straight across when i was younger it would like get thick at the bottom and i always liked when it was like i don't know so by one day i got layers and i was like wow because when they cut it, my hair straight across i don't know my, the way my hair texture was yeah. when i was little it wouldn't naturally dry good and i wasn't using straighteners back then I just really hated haircuts. So in high school, I didn't cut my hair from freshman year to senior. Like the whole high school career, my hair was dead. So I was so scared of haircuts. It was so bad. Like dead ends, dead ends. I've never like, I don't know. I've never had that fear of like a haircut. I think I, when I was younger, I just hated getting a haircut. I hate when hairstylists, like on me, I'll say personally, like when you just like cut hair straight across, no. No. When I graduated high school, mm -hmm. I got a lot of my hair cut off. So much so that, like, my hair was, like, kind of down to, like, my back. 
and then I got it cut like right where my shoulder blades are Mm -hmm. and so it wasn't like super short but it wasn't like I cut it a lot and I will never forget like I went to see Isaac and I had like my hair down and he doesn't notice anything and he was like did you cut your hair because it was in a straight line across my back and I looked like an elementary schooler I was like this is why you shouldn't cut your hair straight straight line across the back because I literally looked like I was like a blunt bob and you're cool with a cool bob like I was like Ken on yeah, tiktok and yeah. she gets her little blunt bob yeah. that's how i picture daisy and daisy hates with her little black blunt bob See, but i picture daisy as a bleach blonde <laughs> yeah that's what jessa says she says like even to her daisy's not but i think daisy is such a dark feature dark haired bob girl that is so funny because i do not think that at all I, she doesn't give me blonde girl vibe i don't know why in my head she is so to me everybody's blonde <laughs> And that's not like I don't know if it's like a thing. One day, me maybe because you're blonde. No, that's like what, I picture everyone brunette. Me and my brother were trying to decode this one day because I was talking about like how some people will read a book and they'll put themselves in the main characters. Mm-hmm. Let us know if you do this. I don't. I don't either. I like always. I'm like okay, this main character. But there are some people that I've even seen on TikTok, YouTube, like they kind of put themselves like like their YN, like it's like mm-hmm. a YN story. I guess once in first point of view, and it's always saying like I and like I do. Even that though, yeah, I'm I like I'm in the character's head. I'm not yeah. in like my head and imagine imagining that 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 it's me but there are some people that like do that yeah i've never done that unless it was like the yn stories <laughs> like, even when it was yn i just literally just would say YN. YN. i wouldn't say we're wrapping back to the lot pad <laughs> but i just also want to so say circle. the fanfics that would be like she's at a one direction concert and she brings a book mm-hmm. i still think about that to this day all my concerts i go to i was like what if i i so badly want to like just that. whip out a kindle i don't go to concerts i want to book a con book a concert <laughs> i want to go to a concert i want to whip out my kindle you should i thought people probably definitely do that nowadays people bring their kindles everywhere i'm just sitting in the lawn i'm like roll my eyes like (laughs) Like, why am i here here? why am i here i literally bought the tickets months ago and like prepped my outfit and everything why am i here i'm scared for if that ever happens whoever's with me genuinely scared i literally asked you this last episode what when i said what is the probability that you think that actually happened i literally think i I asked you that before exactly thing last episode because we were talking about this last episode when yeah you were we about did roman empire uh yeah i think it's gonna happen not anytime soon but like there's like little things like louis commenting on zane's I saw that. instagram and they haven't spoken in what however long or like liam congratulating everyone like it's cr- they're like slowly like communicating yeah. with each other and we know harry and niall are friends they're friendly and i think that they i don't know if niall like chats with more than them but it's like they're slowly like communicating with each other. I think it'll take time, but I genuinely do think it'll happen. I don't know what they're going to do with the tour or like what they're going to do. If it's just going to be one place, I don't know. But I think it's, I'm really, I'm scared for myself. I think they have to. I think so too. They, you can't say a hiatus and never come back again. Like it wasn't even they broke up. And uh, there's a break. Other than Zane, they didn't end on bad terms. No, Zane just left. Well, I think it's because like I always compare them to Five Sauce because when Five Sauce like open for them, they're very close. And I think that Five Sauce is still strong and together because they made a band as best friends. Yeah. And like they let Luke come out with his own album. Go like he did it well, like a a concert like with his, his album. He did like a one night only. And there was like no hard feelings. Yeah, like they they have like a little bit of a freedom, but like One Direction was put together random strangers in just a boy band and like thrown into all of this with management and touring and everything. So it was inevitable it wasn't gonna like last. So I mean yeah. In my head it was gonna Because you can't force like friendships and stuff. You yeah. can't force like and they're spending them getting along and they're spending every waking moment together. So you have mm-hmm. to think they were like overworked as well. Oh probably. yeah. Well that's why and, Zane left. His mental health was yeah. so bad um but as like a little 13 year old i didn't really think about that i was just upset that he left the band taylor swift went to yeah. another kansas city chiefs game this one was versus the jets so taylor swift played the jets which was uh, like an hour Sunday. from my house I'm yeah alive. insane and she brought the whole entire squad yeah. with her she brought hugh jackman blake lively ryan reynolds sabrina carpenter sophie turner um, but Definitely. that was because all of them like went out to a girls' dinner the night before in New York City. I because I saw pictures of her with like Blake, yeah, and stuff. So yeah, that and makes they went sense. Out to dinner, and she's like, ah, oh, tomorrow we're going to the game. You guys yeah. should come. Yeah, that's and so it was, cute. Like, it was so funny, and I love Ryan Reynolds so much. He looked so out of place. Yeah, he, was literally just, he does. Like, kind of just, I don't remember how I found. Out. I think Chris was on because he goes on Twitter, and I think he saw something. He's like, oh, Taylor was there. I was like, and I went on Twitter and I sent you. Yeah, and then I put it on. And then I, I ran watching. into the house, and mm-hmm. I was like 
had the cheese game on and my brother was laughing so hard because he was like i'm seeing the effects in my own household because he was like you could have <laughs> never got destiny to willingly put on a oh, football yeah. game i watched it by myself no when chris left i was still watching no it. so was i and then i go into bed <laughs> And I was like, oh, is a cheese game over? And my brother was like, no, I think it's still on. And then I'm like looking it up. Mm-hmm. And he's like, this is unreal to see you like literally keeping up. with like." And only for her to be on screen for like a few times well, they show her. You know, I saw a theory. Me literally always been. I saw a theory <laughs> um, that s- some people think that this has been going on longer than the whole entire like initial friendship. Oh, thing. I like Loki agree with it because I can see why. I'm about 50-50 on it. The reason I'm 50-50 is because I can totally see Taylor doing this. So the theory, for those of you who don't know, is like the whole entire Travis Kelsey thing started when Travis Kelsey went on his podcast and talked about how he went to see Taylor Swift at the Kansas City uh, Stadium when she was doing her airs tour there. And then he was talking about how like he didn't get to talk to her after the show. He wanted to give her a friendship bracelet with his number on it, his phone number. And there was like a whole entire joke about it. And then that's like when this all blew up. And then, you know, we see Taylor. We didn't really... It was kind of like radio silence on it. And yeah. then he kind of kept on getting, like, pokes and prods, like, in interviews and stuff because he had said it. And then all of a sudden she shows up at a game. The theory is, is that this... Him doing that was a soft launch to see how the public would react to them being yeah. a couple. And it makes sense to me. Because not saying that, like... Obviously, because Taylor Swift is, like, widely talked about right now, and it's, like, even got to, like, people who, like, probably wouldn't have listened to her music before. Like, yeah, there is a chance that, like, Travis Kelsey, like, would have just went to the concert. However, he goes to the concert alone. Like, he's not, like, with a group of people. Like, he was walking in alone. Do you know what I mean? I think maybe they've had a contact before that, which I don't know how they, like, the way Travis and Taylor, like, how did that happen? But I think maybe they may have something before that concert, but I do think, like, Maybe something happened before, but he never got her number or something, and he wanted to make a grand gesture of doing so, so he did it at, like, the concert. That's what... But also, how did he not know, like, going to the concert with the person, like, no one told him she can't talk to anyone before or after? that's also what makes it whatever to me, is because it seems like... Because it was also out of nowhere. Like, he had never really, like, talked about Taylor Swift before on the podcast or anything. That's why they probably met before, but, like, nothing... No, that's what I mean, but it's, like... Because also, just what's whatever to me is, like, he goes to Taylor Swift concert and he like talks about it afterward like i don't know all of it is just so like and like i said it could be just like he kind of was like oh let me go to the heiress tour Mm -hmm. and like whatever i'm like but also to be like oh i didn't get to give her like i could see it being a soft launch of them have already been talking and he was just kind of like what people series is like him saying that because it kind of made sense like okay the friendship bracelet thing i'll say this i'll say that like and the fact that it was brought up on the podcast, you yeah, know, because it would be like... Well, he definitely, like, not had to get her permission, but, like, probably had to get I'm her saying. okay. Because, like, Taylor Swift is not public. Did. Like, as soon as he did that, though, like, I was talking about it on our podcast. Like, oh, my oh, God, yeah. I can't believe everyone. he said this. And yeah. everyone was like, I ship it, I ship it, I ship it. So it seems like you had the public on your side. Not that, like, Taylor needs a public on her side. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's your dating life. But you know how people react when Taylor Swift yeah. is in any relationship. And, I mean, ev- I told my mom this the other day. I was like, everybody's going to find something with oh yeah Taylor's with even if you try like, to keep this secret like it's they're both in the public eye yeah and so i was like okay like i i i could kind of see this like yeah. i'm kind of 50 50 on it just because there's no like proof that they were really like talking before this but i guess for me it's the timing and seeing how like close she was with his mom in the box like and it's only been like what like two months maybe since yeah, like that podcast hard. episode you don't out. know like what what they do behind the public side yeah like we only see what she and him want us to put or what they put out and she's just very like intentional about everything too so that's Mm -hmm. why i could see that being a thing because she's very like every single thing she does she thinks through it a hundred percent like she is not that's why i like that she's like able to put it in the public like she would never ever do that yeah because she never does yeah which Which i saw comparisons now between joe and him which also i don't know i just like don't love that people do that because it's like okay just let joe live Mm -hmm. like you know like just let him go and like we're on to travis yeah but i did see some like comparisons of like how anytime he was kind of like asked about taylor he just kind of would be like his body language and everything would be kind of like which i feel like maybe it was maybe him in the relationship saying like let's keep this yeah private let's not put this in the public eye and that's the thing too because i remember thinking this because like everybody else was like i love joe i love joe and i remember always being like i mean i think the I songs would, that she's made while she's with yeah. joe like hits like obviously their relationship i was so was indifferent 
Jim no, Gaffigan. I did not say, care, I did about not Joe. care about Joe <laughs> at all. Like not like I disliked Joe, but I just mm-hmm. like didn't care about him. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, like Travis is just confident, and he has his own. Like he's been in the public eye on his on his own. Well, like he can really handle yeah, whatever is going on. But I also feel like he's like in awe of her in a way. Like mm-hmm. he's like very much like respects what she does. He knows it's really, Taylor Swift. Yes, like he's like he doesn't dull her sparkle where mm-hmm. i feel like even i've seen other people say this and this is just theorizing this is not like fact but that joe kind of like the whole entire thing was like you know joe and taylor kind of got together when her reputation like wasn't the best whole entire point of the reputation album mm-hmm. and they kind of met when she completely removed herself from like the spotlight didn't do anything yeah. like no one had really heard from her nobody's heard from me for months <laughs> like she completely removed herself yeah and that joe was very used to her like even when she made, like, folklore and Evermore, like, she kind of wasn't really... Like, she would, like, do little interviews about it, but she wasn't really, like, yeah. all the way out there. And it it was, like, as soon as she wanted to kind of start getting back out there again, like, it seemed like Joe had a problem with it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it seemed like that's, well, like, Well, because their relationship probably started very private and when yes. she wanted to be in the public again. He was probably like, yeah. Yeah, and like was it like, private. And it's like, you're dating Taylor mm-hmm. Swift, by the way. I don't that's know if you That's why I like her and Travis, because he lets her be Taylor. Yeah. I love and it. And he's like very, you can even just tell kind of like his charisma and everything mm-hmm. about it. It's just kind of like whatever. Like, I feel really good about it. I'm Me not too. going as far as being like, they're going to get married. You like, know, I think that's fun. I think it's, I love them together. Me too. Also, tell me she's not her 1989 era for real. <laughs> hanging out with all of her friends, like mm-hmm. the guy that she's hanging out with, like is like so like, oh, like she's like all in New York. Aww. Living yeah, that's it cute. Up. Tell me she's not living her 1989 era. No, that's what somebody, I saw a tweet the other day that was like, she is literally living her 1989 era. I can't wait for the album that comes out. Wait, what date is it? October 27th is when that. Oh, uh, it's the end of the month? I'm excited. I'm very interested to see if my theory is right, that (laughs) she'll release two albums. And if she does release two albums, will she release them back to back or will she release them like a few days apart? Mm Mm-mm. Or not, I'm not even saying, like, as far as the Harry Styles feature. I'm okay. just saying, like, I wonder if she'll do a feature album. Because it was very interesting that she didn't do the Kendrick Lamar feature, but he was seen leaving the studio. I can't think about it. Please. <laughs> I think, honestly, Taylor, I know you're watching this. I think that you should put Harry Styles on the style feature. It would break the world. I know I, we talk about this two episodes in a row. We really shouldn't, but just know mm-hmm. that it would break the world. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's what she should do. I'm gonna have heart palpitations. Imagine. Mm mm. I actually can't imagine. I think I would like pass out, and I don't like love Harry Styles, but I think it would just be like the thought of that. It's like he doesn't collab. Like that's not what he does. I wonder why. I don't know. I feel like he's just like his own. Maybe he doesn't want to. I don't know. But then again, like he seems like very like he loves Lizzo. He loves when he mm-hmm. brought out Stevie Nicks for Coachella. Like he's yeah, like he'll very, sing like, like covers and like their songs. Like he sings Casey Musgraves, yeah. like all of that. But, like, like on his own music, he never does. So actually, maybe now that we're talking about how he does sing with other people, stop, stop. No more. I just think that it would be really cool, and I feel like if she did a feature album, like it's theorized, like you would have to put him on style if you're doing a feature album. Oh, easily. Like, you would have to. I can't wait for 1989, though, because of all, like, the Harry Style related songs. I didn't songs. add any of the 1989 songs to my fall playlist, because I was like... Yeah, not yet. I can't go back and remove them, because sometimes I'm very bad about, like, removing the old. Like, especially if I don't listen to that playlist anymore. Like, mm-hmm. you could go through my Spotify, and there'd be, like, stolen versions. But it's because I'm so bad about, like, going and removing them. Yeah. So I don't... Sometimes if I make a new playlist, I, like... And I know, like, how she announced that. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to add it in. Yeah, because, not yet. Like, I don't want to go through the whole entire trouble, like, removing it and all of that. But I can't wait for that, because... Mm-hmm next what is what is it next friday the movie comes out oh yeah the 13th yeah that's and next then, friday yes oh, friday the 13th soon. can you believe it Ugh. always gives me the huge when that happens and then the 27th i want to be in the movie theater on friday the 13th i want to go to the drive-in my drive-in's <gasps> playing it that is so f- i've always wanted to go to a movie drive-in yeah oh, i'm that's thinking about fun. taking charlie and going to the drive-in i want to go <laughs> fly down to Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> no it's just not the regular schmegular movie theater I hate you the movie. You could drive down and I go to the hate drive-in. it. Okay. Okay. I want to so bad. I love drive-ins. Never been, but I want to go to so bad. Oh, no. In my car, I was going to just, like, mm-hmm. put the, like, the hatch up and then just, like, have the door closed and then have Charlie in the That's back. That's so cute. And have the little blankets. And I even thought about buying fairy lights to have in there Aww. and, like, some little snacks. Like, making it a whole entire thing. Yeah. And, um... So I'm gonna do that, and then October 27th, 1999 comes out, mm-hmm. and Friday Nights at Freddy's movie comes out, and I'm so oh the excited. same day, yeah, that was fun. That's what somebody made a TikTok. They were like, 
are you free October 27th? And it was like, no. Mm-hmm. And then it had the Taylor Swift and then it had the five minutes. Wait, what? we have been talking for an hour and 18 minutes and we have a really fun end of the episode. Thank really you guys. Really fun. So we're going to switch to the next clip and you guys are going to see what we're about to go do. So Yay! get excited. We're not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. Okay, guys. See ya. See ya. For a second. <laughs> Literally less than a second. You'll see us again, but we have to go. Yeah. It works. They're going to see this big camera. And I love like, bars. It's fine. It's fine. I'm like, don't even pay attention to us, honestly. Hello, guys. But it works. We're in the Is it on right now? Yeah. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're live? No, I'm scared because we have to go through the drive through I should put my headphone on to see what it sounds like. <laughs> Imagine we just have the full... Oh, it's not plugged in. Plugged in. <laughs> I'm like, let me listen. Imagine we have the full setup. Like, you have the headphones on. They're like, what are these girls doing? Oh, my gosh. Should me in the passenger seat with headphones should on? Should I go in and get it? Should I go in and get it? Is this too much? They're definitely. Yeah, They're definitely yeah, okay. yeah, let's do it. Let's go in and get it, guys. I'm sc- too scared. Should we both go in? No, I'll just get a cup holder. Okay. Whatever it's called. Erky, erky, erky. Cause I can see you. 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 Okay, guys. BRB. Bye. I'm so excited. Cause I don't even know what drinks you ordered. Having caffeine. What time is it? Having caffeine at 6.30 p.m. is not good for me. I can see... I'll just sing for everyone. No one asked for that. Suddenly, I don't know how to talk to a camera or vlog. <gasps> Why is this so awkward? I have a, like, I literally feel like I've never vlogged a day in my life. I'm nervous and excited. This looks really good. Anyway, that's name. I'm really excited about these drinks. I think it's so fun of us to do. Um, I just want to lick all of that sweet cream it's like whipped cream but delicious oh my god i do not need to keep talking <laughs> i'm gonna okay i hope destiny's okay maybe it just wasn't ready i can't see her imagine i tried these drinks without telling destiny that would be really mean i'm not gonna that was just like an impulsive thought to try them all <laughs> i need to read no one's asking me <laughs> I don't know why I'm sawing. <laughs> I wonder which one's going to be my favorite. Comment down below which one you think will be my favorite. <laughs> oh my god. She's coming back, okay. I honestly... Okay. Well, little guy. That experience was... Are we going to stay here? A guy yeah. walked past and I'm talking to myself into the microphone. <laughs> Do you want to, like, pull off somewhere that's a little bit more, like... If you want. Here, give me that. <laughs> so what we're doing, as you can tell, I was talking about Starbucks. We're going to be trying their whole entire... Well, I think I missed a few things. Well, some are sold out. Yeah, some are sold out. So I don't think they had the apple croissant, and I didn't order any frappuccinos now that I'm remembering it. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, I don't drink frappuccinos. I never drink frappuccinos. So we're going to try all these coffees. <laughs> That's why we didn't have, like, a really, like, dote. Yeah. And then I also got three little food items. So I'm which so ones are you going to try first? I don't know. Any of them. You okay. pick one. Um, well, we should probably try the sad little lonely one. Uh, so can you read yes. the tag which one it is? This is... A tall, shaken apple oat, mi- oat milk. <laughs> oat milk. <laughs> oat milk espresso. Okay. Love I've that. I've never had an apple flavored drink. No, me neither. Do you, you want to try take it? the first sip? You want me to? T- I want you to take the first sip. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. So, you just shake it up like this. I don't know if it's apple this flavored. Is satisfying. It is satisfying. I love any shaken espresso. Oh, it smells good? No. Oh. <laughs> it's because it's apple. I hate that. We should have brought water. <laughs> Is it very apple-y? No, it's so bitter. Okay. I smell it. I don't like... Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> the after- it's so Ooh! bad. It's so bad. That aftertaste is horrible. It is so bad. Okay, let's move on. Let's I didn't like that. On. I really didn't like that. Okay, wait. You've tried this one before. So this is what the is that? pumpkin cream cold brew. I love a pumpkin cream cold brew. You want to have I just like the pumpkin sip? foam. <laughs> I don't think I like the pumpkin foam. I would foam. lick the pumpkin foam. I didn't so get good. the chai. Are you joking? Well, I didn't get what the was chai. the chai? Pumpkin chai? Yeah. That's okay. We can try it this week. Well, that, that can be our dote oh, tomorrow. Okay, we can do that. I'll get you one. That doesn't taste good. And I love pumpkin cream cold brew. It's like watery. 
right? Oh god, there's like no Ooh. flavor. These are all <laughs> terrible. These are all gross. Yeah, that flavor was not good. Okay, okay which one? That one looks the best. Like the the foam this looks good. This is a cinnamon caramel cold brew. That sounds good. Oh, wait, is the it. cold foam like? I think so. I think it has something to do with like caramel. It looks really good. Okay. Okay. That's good. I think I just like the foam of that one. I don't really like the cold brew. I haven't had cold brew in a while. No, that's gross. You don't like that? Mm -hmm. I would drink that foam. I'm going to drink the foam. Drink the foam, girl. Okay. Mm. Here we have our basic pumpkin spice latte. Oh, I never had their pumpkin spice latte. I had a Dunkin' one this morning, it's so. It's like orange. Oh, you notice is that? It? How artificially yeah. orange it is? <gasps> I spilled on my headphones. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Why you just said that? <laughs> whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's like that oh, what is that tiktok of the cartoon i'll find it later okay okay what is this pumpkin? Okay. we did a whole lot for this i'm just like realizing this production mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. dunkins is so much better just as i remembered awful yeah i don't like that i don't like their pumpkin flavor ew the pumpkin flavor doesn't taste good. i'm telling you if we have the chai i'm gonna get you the chai tomorrow right. you tell me when you're coming we should over. try the dunkin ones because the dunkin ones are really good we really <laughs> should try them Mm. This that one's is so good. Uh, apple crisp macchiato, and I feel like this could. I used to get an iced caramel macchiato. What's on the bottom though? The syrup. I feel like I'm not gonna get any. You're just gonna get straight espresso. That's the thing about macchiatos. Yeah. I want to mix that. <laughs> You're gonna spill again. <laughs> okay. It just tastes like a coffee because it. I should have brought another drink. A yeah, a palate cleanser. Yeah, that's like not good. No, these are Which not ones good. do you have a favorite? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't either. Just this cold foam from the I would probably cinnamon. say this because I could taste the cold foam on it and it was good. Yeah, the cold foam was good. Okay, so this is where things we're probably going to start looking at. So. Because we have snacks. First, we'll try the owl cake pop. What is it? Oh, the owl? Yeah, you see that? Oh, I did want to try it. Oh my it. god, it looks so scary. <laughs> oh look my god. At <laughs> look at it. It's going to like melt in. Here, you try. Okay. You don't know what flavor it is nope. inside? Nope. Mm -hmm. Probably just like basic. <laughs> mm, and vanilla. Uh -huh. I love cake pops. Mm. Honestly, I don't like cream and chili. You can honestly keep this one because like, I really love their cake pops. Yeah. I'll eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing, girl. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay. So now we have. Sorry if you guys hate the crumbling sound of these. Um, we have the pumpkin cream cheese muffin. Pumpkin cream cheese. I don't like cream cheese, but. They look when I tell you that they threw this. Oh, yeah. Then when I tell <laughs> I think you the top came off. No, it did. Cause look, when I tell you they threw it at me, like they threw it. Oh, at me. is there seeds in that? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't think I'm gonna like that. This is reminding me of like school cafeteria muffin. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Me neither. Let's try it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> mm mm. If it was plain pumpkin, I would love it. I don't like seeds, though. Like, what's up with the seeds? They're trying to be, like, authentic pumpkin. You don't, like, you don't like pumpkin flavor, right? Mm-mm. I got all of the cream cheese, though. Oh. I didn't Ooh, even I'm touch a, the cream cheese. And I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully this one's good. What is this one? This it, is the pumpkin love. Oh, that's the one that smells delicious. Yeah. This one has seeds. Why do they put seeds on it? Me giving Sarah oh, half well. a loaf. <laughs> oh. Wait. Okay. Just grab it. I'm gonna eat the middle because I don't want those seeds. Okay, I'll eat the seeds. I don't really care. Okay, ready? Mm -mm. I would eat this. You don't like it? It's not pumpkin-y enough. I like a good pumpkin spice. My pumpkin bread is better. <laughs> it's not bad by any means, but it's not good. Yeah, that, it has like no flavor. It's just a loaf. I'm, I'm really like discombobulated about that. Well... This is kind of a fail. This was a fail. Like not. Sorry if you like any of these, but not this in the hit. sense of like cake pop just in slaps. The sense of like, <laughs> just in the sense of we didn't like any of the stuff. Maybe they didn't make it good. Nothing tasted good. None of it tasted good. And we're, I'm also coming from somebody who hates bitter coffee. I don't. I don't mind it, but that wasn't good. It hurt. The the like espresso tasted burnt. I mean, because we're here so late. You're right. It's 7 o'clock. It is 7 o'clock. I didn't realize, too, when we were going to do this, that it was like 7 o'clock, trying to get Starbucks at 7. I just don't like any of them. <laughs> Me neither. I literally hated all of them. It may be because I'm also... F 
it's the seed. It's oh, the seed. Yeah. Coming back for vengeance, but <coughs> I'll taste this one again though. It may be because I feel like just nauseous and like sick to my stomach. Yeah, this is definitely not gonna help that. Yeah, that's why like I took tiny sips, but I got the taste of it. Mm-hmm. Cold foam's delicious. The pumpkin cold foam doesn't taste like the one that I usually No. Like. I'm telling you, tomorrow when you're like I'm pulling up, I'm gonna mm-hmm. get us a chai and our first dough will be that chai and it's okay. gonna be so good. Usually but. I don't I actually haven't had a, like an iced chai in a while. I get the chai and it I think the one that you order is just like the chai with the like pumpkin cold foam, but I get two pumps of brown sugar in it. I and love I'm brown sugar. You, it's life changing. Okay. It is so good. Yeah, I'll try it. It's like falling a cup. So okay. try it along with us, guys. Thank you so much for <laughs> listening or watching to today's episode. You guys know what to do. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube. And if you're listening, then go ahead and give us a five star review on whatever you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever it is. And don't forget to follow our Instagram because, like, today, for example, we were like asking you guys for co- Halloween costume ideas. We tell you guys to like send in stories. We're very interactive over there. So please make sure to pop a follow over on the Instagram because also, whenever we finish, episode we tend to put visuals up there for those of you who are audio only listeners so make sure that you are like keeping up with those over on the instagram and if you care enough about us personally <laughs> then you can follow us every time whether you're on spotify or anything i always have all of our social medias linked down below so go ahead and go to that if that interests you and thank you guys thank you so guys. much for listening and Love we you. will see you next week bye bye <laughs> <laughs>